With the release of the new free version of ChatGPT 4.0, I thought it would be a perfect idea to test it out. I'll be making three projects, all the way from simple double jumping mechanics to entire round systems with intermissions, winners, etc. Alright, so we're in here with ChatGPT and I'm just going to type out the prompt real quick. So I have it all typed out. One of the crazy things about the new update is how fast it goes. Okay, so it's done generating and it says all we need to do is add this as a local script to our starter player scripts. Starter player and then starter player script delete all the code and paste it in and then let's see if it works okay so uh, uh, okay so it's actually working first try just gave it literally one message and i think in the script it lets us control the amount of power our second jump has yeah so right here i think if i put that at like 500 it'll be crazy huh okay guys so i'm back in and let me try the second jump uh, okay so i guess i was right i guess that controlled the second jump power it's a big accomplishment okay so ChatGPT easily made the double jump one so that's giving me a lot of faith for the rest of the challenge especially since it gets a lot harder so uh let's get started on the next one okay so for this one we are making a gun system uh we could go through and we could make the gun and then we could add attachments and put it on our character and all that kind of stuff but i don't really feel like doing that so i'm just gonna get a gun from the toolbox i'm just gonna delete all the scripts from inside of it uh so hopefully you can still hold it and all that kind of stuff okay so you can still hold it but it doesn't do anything else i think this should be a good base for our little gun script i got the second prompt typed out i specified a few things like using ray casting and also damaging the player should be given but uh, I don't really know why I put that okay so the script just barely got finished generating I'm just gonna go through and make sure that I followed all the steps and then it works properly okay so I think I followed everything correctly so if chat GPT is right then this should work and we should just have a completely working gun script now so okay so it looks like it's not working immediately let's see what's going on oh wait, actually it is working uh, there is a little damaging thing where our mouse is that okay that's it's not I don't know if that's using ray casting I don't know if I was being specific enough uh but let's see if it actually damages another character I got a noob NPC right here and it has a humanoid so it should be damaged okay and it looks like the gun script works almost perfectly I just asked ChatGBT to change it up to make it to where it stretches a little block from the end of our gun to whatever we're shooting so okay it looks like it's working perfectly this is so easy i don't know if the challenges that i have in the future are going to be hard enough so it looks like uh since we don't have a tip it kind of just shoots from the end of our gun but i could just ask it uh shoot from a block that's called tip in our gun and all that kind of stuff i think that's probably good for now so let's get started on the round system and everything usually when you're asking chat gpt to make complex things like a round system and everything you'd want to ask it to make it in like steps where first it makes this and then it makes this and kind of build it all up so then the AI doesn't get confused but I'm just gonna see if it can do it in one run as you can see it's pretty complex I'm asking it to do a lot of things right now but I'm just going to put it in and see what it does okay so right here we have a working leader stats script I think I have everything set up now it just had us put a big script and server script servers and then put leader stats in our server script service too and then we have a spawn like a lobby spawn this is the lobby spawn and then this is the battle spawn so let's click play here actually i probably need to do a local server probably with two players i think okay so now we have everyone here let's see if we get teleported to the little spawn or what's going on okay well so it actually teleported us to the battle spawn we have our guns now let me see if it teleports me to the lobby after i um uh, Oh, oh my gosh, I think I know what's happening. We have our gun script in a local script, so everything that's happening is only happening on the one player side and not the server side. Okay, so I'm just gonna get like, uh, I I'm just going to throw myself off the edge of the base plate. Okay, so now, uh, all right, so I think I have everything set up correctly. I made a server script. I updated the local script and then we also added a remote event. So I'm pretty confident that this should work flawlessly now. Being intermission right now. And then in just a second, we should be teleported to the uh, red block. Okay, we just got teleported. Uh, guys, we actually have a r working round system using just AI. I'm just going to get the, uh, the gun script figured out real quick and then uh, I'll see you then. Okay, I just barely typed out the prompt and uh, let's see if it works. All right, so it got teleported and uh, 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 what are the chances of that happening? Oh, okay, so now we got the gun script and 
Okay, so, okay, now it works perfectly. So the gun script was the problem the entire time. It was only killing the player for the, for the other players. It's really, it's kind of weird and confusing, but, you know, it works. So I'm just going to bring in a crossroads map right here since I am too lazy to do everything else. And then when we're looking for an obby here, I don't know, maybe we'll just, <laughs> maybe we'll just use the doors lobby. I, I actually, I don't know if I want to use this because, uh, oh, I thought it was stolen or something. No, this, this doesn't, this, this looks even better than the door zombie guys. Okay. We're making a hit Roblox game right now. Oh, uh, it looks like there's spawn points in the, uh, crossroads. So I'll just have to delete those. And now both of the players are teleported. Both of us should have a gun. And then I'm just going to kill this player real quick. Okay. And then we got teleported and we have one more win and then the intermission cycle goes back on i'm just gonna try to add some data storage real quick to see if we can just do that real quick okay so it had me change a bunch of code in like the brown system script and leader stat script so hopefully it all still works okay and it looks like we have a little bug we do not have any leader stats right now i just barely gave the game access to like api services and all that kind of stuff i'm pretty sure you need that stuff for data stores so that might have been my fault uh oh okay yeah it looks like the wins are now working but let's Let's, uh, let's get a win and let's see if it saves. So now we uh, respond in. I'm just going to kill him real quick. And now I have one win. Okay, so instead of testing out a Roblox game, I decided just to start up another local server. And it looks like it does work. We have one win, even though... I did not just barely win another round. Also, uh, we have a double jump right now. That gives you a crazy amount of height, okay? So AI pretty much destroyed everything we put it through. And honestly, I think it can handle a lot more. And I want to put it through a way harder challenge. So if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe.